meantime, how about you close all those tabs, bro? All right, so let's, get, right let's continue. Right near the entrance here, there's a little bit of a storage space. Again, don't let the wide angle lens fool you. This space is actually pretty tight. Like again, I'd, I'd be hard pressed to, eat, <laughs> to properly, properly fit in here. And then you've got the sink space here again. Fairly small, really basic. It does have running water, but only cold water, no hot. You've got a drawer there for your cutlery and some standard under sink storage here with a super luxury knife rack. Now you'll notice there's no burner. You probably could use an induction burner and plug it in here, but I think that's, that's the best you're gonna get. It's a lot of switches actually. And they do nothing. <laughs> I'm probably turning on the lights in somebody else's room as I do that. And this is the entire room right here. Now I know the lens makes this place look big and wide and spit as you can it is not. <laughs> it is, it's only 15 meters squared, which honestly is almost certainly bigger than my first place in Tokyo. So it's definitely livable. But you've also probably already noticed that Living here comes with a few catches. Aside from the lack of hot water and the mystery pipe that just runs through here, you'll also notice that there's no air conditioner in here whatsoever. Which honestly might not be too bad in the summer if you have a- Yeah, there's no air conditioning in here whatsoever. You wanna know why? Because it's not a house, it's a closet. My man, you're living in a closet at that point. You're literally living inside of a closet. You know how people say like, oh man, in New York, I live in a shoebox. Like this is literally a fucking. Oof. A fan, it's a pretty hot day today actually, but inside here is somewhat cool. I can't really speak for the winter. I live and work in Japan. My salary comes out to about sixteen thousand dollars. It's a government job, and I live in a gov I live in government housing and live quite well for a seemingly low salary. Wow, that's interesting. I assume it would be cold. Also, before I forget, one of my favorite little features is this tiny little underfloor storage area which a lot of people tend to use for like cold food storage and stuff like that, but okay, wow, that is, that is actually much more spacious than I was originally expecting you. Dude, that's more house. Uh, that's just more house, forehead. Look at that. Oh, you like house? Here's more house. You could store a lot of- Yeah, that's called a second basement. That's called a basement. It's called a second floor. Under there, okay. Also, there is just a plug in the middle of the wall. I guess if you put like a little end table there, it'd be perfect. But let's take a peek out here. What? And this- You have a balcony. Is the view you get. <laughs> okay. Not the fanciest view in the world, but- Dude, I don't understand. You get like literally a an ass nugget of a fucking closet for living accommodation but they're like you have to have a balcony dog you got to have a garden i don't understand is that like a japanese thing what's happening i feel like every japanese living accommodation i've seen features uh uh something like this fire code it's so you don't go insane from the prison home. Dude, that's an alley, not a balcony. No, but it's like... I mean, first of all, this motherfucker doesn't have the bathroom, except people are saying that's the bathroom. What, are, what do you mean? Uh, excuse me, did you see that sink? That's the bathroom. But also not the worst. I've had places that the window has opened up just straight into a wall that you just touch on the other side. So it's far as views go this isn't bad and i think this area right here would actually be the hookup for your washing machine should you have one but you may not need one we'll talk about that what? in a minute and then you would just place the washing machine it's they put the washing machine outside in itself right here and then i guess the rest just brings you out into this little 
Yes, that's a Japanese feature. My housing is a human rights violation, but I have a nice ass view. That's crazy. It doesn't make sense. This little backyard space here. I wonder if we can get up onto the roof. I feel like we gotta be able to get onto that roof, right? We're definitely gonna ah. try to get up on the roof because you may have also noticed there's no bathroom in here. That's because there is no washroom, There's no bath. Wait, no what? Shower, and no toilet. Oh. Stop! What? How do you piss in shit? What is there a public bathroom down the street? Or they're like, yeah, have fun with that, dog. Oh, you want to take a piss? You want to take a shit? You just gotta go somewhere else. Can't do it here. Except for, except for one person. So there's two rooms right here. And if we head up these stairs, which have no semblance of a railing, there are two rooms right here and one more right here. And you might think that this is the bathroom. Also, this guy's into skateboarding and I love that. She skateboarded out here today. This here says that this toilet is for room 203 only. Now, we'll take a quick peek. And that's the entire that's... thing. Shut toilet, up. A little bit of... Bro, the toilet itself has a sink on it. What the fuck is going on? What the absolute fuck is happening here? This is bananas, dude. What the fuck? That's common in Japan. That's com the toilet sink combo. Somehow better than your bathroom. Japanese people live whole ass lives just to live like they're in jail, dude. They're being punished for living in Japan. That's actually normal even in nice toilets in Japan. What? Remember when he said you hate your bathroom? Yeah, this shit is... My bathroom is fucking luxury. If you had ever been even a little bit truthful about socialism, dear, you would buy a house like that instead of a multi-million dollar ad break? Fuck you. At the top of the hour is a six second ad break, dude. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subs subscribe. You could do that for $5 or for free. There's a reason the actual word for essential normal house condo is mansion. Honestly, that's not even a good ad break segue. Like, you didn't even try to, like, hide it. You just pinched it to the end of it you know what i mean it's not chat just likes it because chat thinks everything is 10 10 when chat does it here's the one minute ad break now fuck you guys we have a shower back there and for the life of me i can't find a light can't wait to serve you more ads you motherfuckers yeah that's right even up here in the roof area I'm pretty me. sure there's nothing, and this is one of the things that makes it so... Hassan never saw a squatting bathroom? Brother, I grew up in Turkey. Are you fucking kidding me? Of course I saw a squatting bathroom. You literally just gave me PTSD. It's not even a joke. In Turkey, bathrooms all have bidets. That is, of course, if they're seating bathrooms. If there's uh, if there's standing bathrooms that you have to squat on top of, it's just a hole in the fucking bottom. And honestly, I'll be honest. I, listen, listen. That is my main source of wanting to grind hard. Okay, so I never have to shit or piss in a fucking squatting bathroom ever again for the rest of my life. Okay.
Like no matter what happens, I never want my life to get to that point because it's not that bad. You're psychotic. You're wrong. You've never been right in your fucking life. You can scientifically poop better in a squatting position. Yeah, I don't care. If you've ever had like diarrhea, if you've ever had like diarrhea or or just you had to poop and it was a public bathroom and you had to straight up fucking squat over that thing, you walk in, dude, you mentioned the squatting bathroom and you know what came back to me? The smell. First thing, first thing I fucking immediately was triggered with was the olfactory cue, okay? It's such PTSD from just like encountering some of the worst things you've ever seen. Fuck me, man. Oh, let's just continue. I can't do this. Oh, cheap despite being in the central Tokyo area. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so that pretty much just dumps you out right on the roof. And this, this does not feel safe. And actually, speaking of safety, that's another big part is that this building was built in 1978, which was before Japan's new building codes for earthquakes, which means the structural intent, but basically the, the building, there's a good chance it would not hold up well in an earthquake so those older places tend to be cheap. let's be well, real no, dude gg no re anyway if you're fucking i mean it, it's a wrap it's a ripperoni if you're living there they just don't give a fuck about the people that live there they don't give a fuck about it enough to to think about their pooping accommodations and no shower by the way so why the fuck would they give a shit about it enough to you know uh <laughs> Make sure you survive one of the many earthquakes that can happen in Japan. That means that this is the last place that you would want to be if an earthquake hit. So I'm just gonna, just gonna slowly. But all that aside, the location is in bad, and it's not that far from the station. I think it's only like 10 to 15 minutes from Edogawa Bashi Station, which is right on the Yurakucho line. And these stairs, these stairs are terrifying. There's a stair back there that you could completely lose your wallet in. Like, whoa, just trying not to, I'm just trying not to fall here. That's insane. There we go. But if you're like me, you're probably curious about what everybody else does for the bathroom who lives here. So let me show you. And as we do, let's check out the area because we're going to have to, <laughs> We're gonna have to go for a bit of a walk. Right next door is a cafe and gluten-free bakery. So it's pretty cool too. And then you can't see anything because there's a bus. What <laughs> wonderful timing. Right on the other side, across the street, there's actually a coin laundry and a Domino's pizza. And I'm pretty sure the bathroom is down that way. I actually wouldn't mind living right in front of a Domino's. And I think the washroom is here at the Meijiro Dai Library, which I think is just down here. Actually, I was Imagine having to take a big shit and the only fucking public restroom in your apartment is, is, is currently occupied. So you have to go outside, run to the fucking public library, past the dominoes and the coin laundry to go take a doo-doo a mile down the fucking road. I'd shit myself. I'd be like, no, it's fine. This is my life now. I'm shitting myself on the regular, okay? I was lucky enough to meet two of the gentlemen who lived there. One said he was a student. The other said he was a part-time worker. Both super friendly, neither one entirely keen. <laughs> Someone said the toilet was not public. It said it's for apartment 203 only. Yeah, dude. Well, guess what? It's not inside apartment 203. So who says it's for apartment 203? A fucking little sign? A ripped up sign? Oh, okay. I guess they'll definitely listen to that.
keen on being in the video, but that's fine. That's fine. And it looks like, yeah, that's the library right there. And it's just about a minute, maybe two, if you're walking really slow down from where the apartment is. And they have washrooms on each floor of the library, but the library and the washrooms are only open until 7 p.m. That's a pretty huge catch. I don't, I don't know about you, but for me, only being able to use the nearest washroom until like 7 p.m. feels like a pretty big caveat. That That's a major plot twist. Just figure out your poop window forehead. You know what I mean? Just make sure. Make sure your poop window is timed adequately and then don't eat any fucking spicy food. You know what I'm saying? Because God forbid you have spicy food, you're about to pull a furry and shit in a litter box. What if you get the night shits? Just don't. Mind you, if we're, okay, let's try and stay positive. The nearest convenience store is only like a maybe five to ten minute walk, so. What? I, I guess <laughs> I'm tempted to say it could be worse, but this is, this is pretty much the worst I've ever seen. I don't know. Let's. Let's stay positive about it. One of the other things that makes this place a little more, we'll say affordable, is that it, it is far from soundproof. Almost the entire time that I've been in here, I've been battling noise from the outside. You got, oot. There it is. It's just, this is what it's been like the whole time. Far from quiet. And honestly, inside the room is, is not much better. I'd actually consider. Bro, you jerk off, your neighbor can count the faps. Okay. Your neighbor will be, your neighbor will be like, okay, that was 567 faps. Good job. You're improving. Renting this place out for a month just to just see what it would be like to live here for a month. Thought it might be fun. The company who manages this place, I think they're called Heyamaru, specializes in places under 60,000 yen. Cheap apartments in Tokyo for under like five, six hundred dollars a month. But I also kind of felt that this place should just remain open for, for somebody who really needs it. Mind you, the advertisements for this place do say you can use it as an extra sleeping space or you can use it for storage, but I I don't know what I would, I, I don't think I would store anything here. I don't trust the locks on the windows, let alone the one on the door. And personally, I don't think I'd be able to get past the washroom situation. I just couldn't. Would, would you be able to? Speaking of which, I also found out what our mystery tube is for. It's, you know, 203 when he gets to enjoy his luxury. Oh washroom. no! It just passes right through there. So one more benefit to check out it's like the michael scott paper company in here wait i want to see the tiniest luxury apartment okay so we saw the tiniest apartment in general now let's look at the tiniest luxury apartment holy fuck dog a few weeks ago we had a chance to take a look at tokyo's cheapest 